Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, it is spooky season, so let's create a new Code Blocks pumpkin. Step one is always to name it. Let's put the word pumpkin up here. And let's also put our initials just in case your teacher wants to print it. In Code Blocks, we build with something called templates. We're going to click right here on Create New Template, and we're going to create our pumpkin. Of course, tell it OK. We're going to define the pumpkin up here, and we're going to use the template at the bottom. We're going to use a sweet chunk of code called Count With, and we're going to go from 1 to 6. Our pumpkin shell is going to be created with a sphere. Bring that out. Open up its properties. Of course, let's make it some sort of orange. Let's give it a radius of 15. And let's also change the steps to 36. To get this where we want, we're going to use modify commands. So the first thing we're going to do is move. And we're going to do a Z of 15. We choose that number because the diameter is 30, so half of 15 will get this up at the top. Real quickly, I'm going to hit play so you can see this once. There is our sphere happening again and again in the exact same spot. I'm also going to speed this up so from now on it goes faster. So we have got it to 0, 0. Because of this move, friends, now we're going to squish it so it looks more like a pumpkin and we're going to rotate it. We do that with a scale command. Friends, we need to take the Y and we need to type 0 0.4 and press enter. Make sure you remember that zero or it does not work. Also under modify, we're going to add a rotate. This has got to go around Z. Make sure you swap that. And then we're going to switch to math, bring out the math block. And instead of 90 degrees, we're going to change this to multiplication. And it's going to be the variable I times 30. We can then grab this chunk, drop it in there, also bring out the axis of 0, 0, 0. And friends, when you hit play, bingo, you all of a sudden have the shell of a pumpkin. How cool is that? So our pumpkin is looking wicked cool. Friends, let me show you how to hollow it out. We are going to do duplicate down here. Now, friends, we need to take this second one and make it smaller. So we're going to modify and we're going to scale it. I'm going to tell you the number to type is 0 0.9. And then, of course, we need to make it a hole. The way to do that is with the set color block. When you bring this out, switch it to a hole, bring out a group, and hit play. And bingo, it will make the original pumpkin. And then on the inside, it'll make the copy of the pumpkin. And we'll prove in just a second that it's hollow. Friends, the next thing we're going to create is an eyeball. Let's go back to those templates. Choose Create Template, and let's call it I and give it an OK. I'm going to drag my code lower. Let's bring the define over this way. If we look over at our shapes, I'm going to build my eyeball with the roof. I'm going to make it a hole so it cuts in. I'm going to change the length to 8, and then under Modify, I'm going to bust out that Scale XYZ command so I can make these all different. If we hit Play right now, this would be inside the pumpkin. I'm going to tell you the smart numbers you use for this are 0 0.25, 1.5, and then we're going to make Z 5. And we're going to make Z 0 0.5 and press Enter. Now we also want to move our eye up. Let's move it right now so that it's the same for both sides. I'm going to type the number 22 for starters. And I also want to pull it towards me so it cuts out the front of the pumpkin. So I'm going to type negative 12, just like that. Now to actually use and test our eyeball, we need to put it in our pumpkin project. I also don't want it in the middle. Right now, I'm going to hit play just to show you this. Here comes our pumpkin. There's the shell. And check it out. There would be an eyeball in the middle. Now, of course, we don't want that. So we're going to go back to our modify, bring out a move. And let's say we choose negative 5 or negative 6. You can adjust that as you want. And I'm going to show you this super quick. Let's hit Create Group. 
hit play, and this is the first chance we get to zoom in, see our pumpkin come together, and in a moment when it groups, hollow pumpkin with an eye. How cool is that? So we need a second eye. Friends, it's this easy. Break off your group, duplicate your eye, drop it below. If one eye is negative six, the other one should be positive six. Simply put your group back, hit play, hit play, and bingo, you have got a pumpkin with two awesome eyes. Friends, let's use that same template command, and this time let's create a mouth. Let's arrange everything so we can build this efficiently. I'm gonna put the template mouth over here underneath. When you look at your mouth shapes, I'm gonna recommend you use the round roof. Of course, we need to bring it out, we need to bring it out, and we need to rotate it, because it'll be facing the wrong way. When you bring out your rotate, we're gonna switch it to rotate around X's Y, and we need to do 180 degrees. You could type it, or you can just move it. Of course, we do need to bring out our math chunk and put in the zero, zero, zero. Real quickly, I'm gonna drop this down below and let's hit play and just see what this looks like. You can see there is the mouth. Now it's gonna be a little bit large, so let's quickly drop in a scale. Now let's add something fun to this. Go back to your shapes and let's bring out a box, make it a hole, and make it four wide and four high. We are gonna use these to cut in holes so it's not just a big happy smile. Of course, to do that, we need to move. You can adjust these numbers as you fiddle. I'm gonna tell you, I just want this one to go negative four, so it'll go to the left and I also need to move it four up. So I'm matching the exact same height right here. Let's hit play and see how that looks. We'll see the first tooth pop in. There is our first tooth in the spot where it will cut. Of course, we want two of those, so we're just gonna duplicate. And if the first one goes negative four, I'm gonna move that down again so we have more room. The other one has to go positive four. Let's group that so that those pieces cut out. Of course, friends, when we create that group, it does need to be a hole. And then I do want to make it a little smaller. That looks pretty huge. So I'm going to bring out a scale XYZ, and I'm going to just do 0.75 for what percent I want it to be scaled. At this point, instead of having it just underneath the group, I'm going to move it up one chunk so it groups and cuts out. Uh, as you can see, that is super funny. I forgot to move it up. Watch how easy it is to fix this, though. We can just drop it underneath. And let's say I want to move it 8 up. Let's try nudging that out, negative 5, along the Y, and hit play to see what we made. Bingo. There is your pumpkin shell with a wicked cool smile. All right, everybody, so you've learned how to make templates. We've used the shape, the half roof, the block. This would be super fun if you used the roof to make the teeth look sharp and rotate them so they're aimed the way you want. So your challenges now are to make a nose. Instead of making a template for the nose, you could just build it with the pieces down below. I'm gonna show you that real quickly by making a stem. Watch this code. If we bring out the shape, the cone, of course, we want to make it green. You can pick whichever color, open up your properties, and we're going to simply do two, three for the bottom radius, so it's a little stumpy cone with a flat top and a height of five. I do recommend you make this 64 so it looks round. If we hit play, it'll be right in here. If we bust out our modify command, remember how this whole thing is 15 for the radius? So we need to raise it up about 30. Watch this. Move command. Z, let's go 28. And instantly when we hit play, we have just added an epic stem. If you want to change the height, you can simply adjust it. 
Notice if we look underneath, I had it too low. I'm actually going to go the full 30, and that'll turn out even cooler. Bingo! Now, if you're in a classroom and you want to 3D print this, it is better when it's flat, and you probably also want it to be a little thicker. To make it more thick, change the scale to 0 0.8. Of course, press play so you can see how it turns out. You can see how that is going to be more solid for printing. And then we also want a flat bottom. So we're going to do that by simply coming out here under shapes and adding a box. Friends, we're going to take this cube and we're going to make it size two. This will allow it to cut off one millimeter. And we simply add a create group underneath. Of course, when you hit play, it'll look like this. There's your flat bottom for printing. We do need to move it down, so we're simply going to move it down negative one. Real quickly, we'll hit play one more time so you can see how that looks on the work plane. There it is, ready for 3D printing. Of course, the final step is to hit export, choose STL. I always put mine in my 3D modeling folder, and it's already got a name because we named our file. That quickly, you have got a tiny little pumpkin ready for 3D printing and created in code blocks. Friends, I do want to quickly remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories, and then also day one lessons, useful starters, and Tinkercad essentials. Friends, there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.